May we commence by acknowledging the Noongar people, the traditional custodians of the country on which Guildford Grammar School stands and where we meet today. We acknowledge that they have occupied and cared for this country over countless generations and we celebrate their continuing contribution to the life of their region. We pray that our imprint on this earth may bear marks of reference for this fragile planet and for each other as we journey together on the path towards reconciliation. Welcome parents, teachers and students to our first Year 6 Band Concert for 2019. Today we will be performing pieces from our band book, Essential Elements. We will show you how we started to learn our instruments together as an ensemble. We rehearsed together once a fortnight as a band in our class music lessons. During our performance, you will hear from one year six from each instrument about why they selected their instrument. Please welcome Mrs. Panagi to the stage to take us through the learning journey of the past five months. Thank you very much, Alyssa. This is our music captain. Thank you so much for coming today to our first performance for the year. This is an example of an open rehearsal. So we have been playing together now since February and it took us a few months to get everybody organised. So that's not very long to be able to do a performance. So we're going to show you the steps that we've taken through learning one note, learning a long note. There's always been a long note challenge with various winners. Um, our Essential Elements book will show you how we use that. And for parents, if you've never seen the interactive website, I hope that after this concert, you can go back and have a talk to your child about using that website. Because if only I had it in my day, it would have made life so much easier. So in music in year six, we learn music theory, composition, analysis, and we learn to play. The music theory, the point of it is so that we are able to read the notes, things like minims, we know that's an F, that it has an F sharp, all those various things that you need to be able to understand to be able to play an instrument. We also reflect on our journey, so we look at what we've done really well and what we need to improve on. So the first step that happened at the beginning of the year was looking at all the various instruments and going, what is it that really I want to play that I'm passionate about? Some students already knew exactly what they wanted and others were not really sure. So they selected it, they were given the band book and then it came to the task of putting it all together. This is actually quite complicated because as you can see, there's Mr Pavan and myself, so they don't have an individual lesson. They just come to band. So if you think back to the days of when you were at school, it used to be the recorder. Nowadays, I think it's a ukulele in some schools. So here we all are, all learning all these various instruments together. So it was indeed a challenge to be able to make a sound. And I'm sure some of you know that memory. You have it in, in the back of your heads of what it sounded like at the beginning a little bit like a duck dying. Well, we have moved on from that. So today we're going to start with our one note and it's called Count and Play. What Mr. Pavan is doing here is he's showing you our interactive website, which all the students have, the code is in their book. And the wonderful thing about this is you get to hear the sound, you get a wonderful backing track which makes us all sound fab, and you get to see it as it goes along. You can also loop it and slow it down in case you can't keep the speed, which is really good for a slow practice. All right, here we go. Count and play. or so to be able to get to that stage. See how they're all so focused and they know when to play and when not to play. That's a challenge within itself. 
uh, after we've actually produced the note. Then we moved on to learning two notes. And we're going to play twos, a team. <coughs> says classic rock, country, uh, pop, Latin. Uh, what's it? That says piano above it. I can't quite see it. Metronome. The metronome is what keeps you in time. You don't have to have that on. It's great if you're going to give your parents and, their f and your friends and family a little concert because it makes your one note sound a lot more interesting. We're going to hear from Owen now about his favourite instrument, the tuba. Hello, my name is Owen and I used to play the trumpet. But at the end of last year, I decided I'd like to try out a different instrument. So I picked the tuba. I've been playing it for almost one semester and I'm loving it. What I like about the tuba is that it is low and loud and it has four vowels. I enjoy my one-on-one -on -one music lessons on a Thursday with Mr. Pavan. And if you play the tuba, you'll be 101% cooler. Oh, when are you going to play us a note? Can you just stand up with it for a second? Because the year threes can't quite see you. Just stand up and show them. There you go. Ooh, ah. Bravo, let's give them a big clap. We're going to play two pieces now, moving on up and four by four. but it plays higher notes and it has the same sound as a trombone, which are all of these instruments. In the band seating, you would sit next to the trombone players if you are playing the baritone. I've been playing this instrument for one and a half years and in this time I've wanted to know Mr. Pavan. I've got to tell you though, for those of you who Mr. Pavan can be pretty annoying. <laughs> if you do choose the baritone though, I bet you would, it would, I bet you would be a great experience. Here's a demonstration.
very much. So we're not going to uh, use the site now. I just want to tell you about one more feature of that. It's really great for recording. You can ab you're can you able to play into it and it'll record it for you so that we can hear how you're going. It's linked to the uh, teacher site as well. So if you haven't seen that at home, it would be great if everyone can have a look at how to go on that website. All the information is in the email that Mr Pavan sent out. If you can't find that, please just let us know and we'll send it to you again. Okay, Oliver, would you like to talk about the trumpet? Hi, my name is Oliver. I play the trumpet. The trumpet is part of the brass family. You make a weird buzzy noise with your lips into the mouthpiece to make the coolest noise ever. My favourite thing about playing the trumpet is being able to go into my mum and dad's room really early in the morning and blow my heart out to wake them up with a start. It's so funny, even though my mum always says, stop playing that saxophone, and all I have to do is look at her like, not again, it's a trumpet. And straight away, I'm out of trouble, and my mum feels like she's the one in trouble. What I think is the coolest thing on the trumpet is that there are only three valves, but you can make so many different notes depending on your fingering and how hard you play. Here's an example. Thank you very much, Oliver. The trumpet is by far the most superior instrument, so if you play it, you'll become 102% cooler. Rolling along. began. Everyone get, got to choose what instrument they wanted to play. For me it was a really hard choice between the saxophone and the clarinet, but I'm glad that I chose the clarinet in the end. I love the clarinet and everything about it. A few weeks after playing the clarinet, I joined the prep school band every Monday, mostly week A and Tuesday, Friday, week B. Our class gets together in Mr. Pavan's room to play our instruments as a class. The clarinet is such a unique instrument to play with all the keys and the huge variety of notes. I love playing the clarinet and this is a little demonstration. <coughs> Be ready for nightly rowing. bars and you can imagine if you've only been playing for a few months it's quite taxing on your uh, breath control 
You've got to be reading the notes. You can't write in ABCD anymore. So you have to know what notes they are and you have to know that it's a minimum or it's a crotchet, it's a crotchet or whatever the actual value may be in the piece. Let's give them another round of applause. Sive, <laughs> would you like to talk to us about the trombone? Hi, I'm Sive and I play the trombone. The reason I chose trombone, because when I was a little kid, I thought it was awesome how you could move the slide up and down and make the noises join together. Now I'm playing it and it's so much fun. There are seven different positions where you put the slide and some notes are on the same slide, so you just have to change the position of your mouth and blow more air. I think this instrument is so fun and cool. If you're looking to play the trombone, trombone, definitely do. I love it. Um, here's a demonstration. We would now like to play a little piece by Mozart, a Mozart medley. Hi, I'm James and I play the saxophone for the school band. So far, I am really enjoying it and the saxophone is definitely better than any of the instruments here today. The thing I really like about the saxophone is you don't have to keep getting told off for dropping your instrument because it's strapped around your neck. I find it quite calming when I get home from school and play the saxophone because it sounds so relaxing. Something I don't really like about the instrument is how heavy it is compared to the other instruments like the trumpet. But that is alright as it is still much better than all the other instruments. I'll now give you a demonstration. playing a duet. It's called Orally and it has a part A which we're all going to play and then a part B and you'll hear the saxophones. Can you hold those up, up children? Thank you. Saxophones and the lower brass from Owen all the way around. So tuba, baritone and trombones. Play the section B and then we're going to put the two things together. So for the students, that's even more complicated because we have to read across and down at the same time. So they have to see if they are in time still at the same time as watching Mr. Purvan. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Thomas. Hi, my name is Thomas, and I'll be talking to you about the flute. You may ask why the flute? Well, the flute is a challenging instrument to play because you need to remember all the hand gestures to get to the right note. You will need healthy lungs and a good remembering memory, and strong fingers to get from one note to the other. That's about how to play more about the flute. The flute is a part of the woodwind family. The flute is the oldest woodwind instrument dating to 900 BC or earlier. I'd like to play you a few notes. who's just been awarded the number one position in the ABC Classics. Yes, and the, uh, hundred, out of 100, he was number one. So here we go, we're gonna play Ode to Joy. Sorry, and I'm here to tell you why I chose percussion. I chose percussion because I have been playing the drums for two and a half years. I really enjoy playing percussion because it's fun to play and sounds very cool. My favourite part of playing percussion is when I perform in front of people like my friends and I will do after I finish talking. I hope you enjoy this piece that we'll be playing after this afternoon. And we're going to end today with our favourite piece which is called the Hard Rock Blues. Mr. Pavan, are you ready? He's going to rock the drum kit and you're going to get a chance to see all the various sections play. They're going to stand up for you.
Thank you so much. We hope you've enjoyed our first concert, our first of many that we will have throughout the year. Can I just have flutes? Hold your flutes up. Let's give them another round of applause. because it's been so wonderful having extra rehearsals over this last week. We have noticed so much progress in a short amount of time. It only takes 10 minutes a night. You'd be surprised how far you can get with just 10 minutes. That instrument's got to live outside its case. Get ready as you go past, have a little play, go and do something else. Mr Hurley, did you want to say something? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Kieran Hurley, I'm the Director of Music here. I've had a fantastic day of music this morning with the U2 String Concert, and then again this afternoon with the Year 6 Band Concert. May I ask please, you put your hands together, the, the work that you've seen here is actually testament to, to particularly two people, and that's Mrs. Anne-Marie Panagi and Mr. Martin Pavan. If we could have a massive round of applause for them. Please. you see in the world today has started at some point. Even Mozart had to start somewhere. Admittedly by this age he'd written his first symphony, but he still had to start somewhere. What you've got here is, is, is the first steps and um, through, through not being able to play at the beginning of the year to now six months later being able to play something as difficult as, as what was it not, power rock, what is it? Hard rock blues. Tell you what, we should play that tomorrow night, Mr. Pavan. I reckon we'll get a few people dancing. I'll have to practice a bit more though for it. Um, it's really, it's really fantastic. So um, I'll hand back to, to Mrs. Panagi now. But can I say thank you for doing what you do with the students? It is sometimes hard. We know the sounds. We're parents, and we've been musicians as well, and um, we know exactly what it is from both sides. So thank you so much, and um, have a great holiday on behalf of myself and all of GGS Music. Thank you. What we'd like to do for you, we'll play that again. Parents, if you would like to come onto the stage, if you want to take a photo, take a video, that is unencumbered, so you don't see music stands in the way, feel free to do that. And students, if you'd like to go back down to class, thank you. Is your chance to embarrass the parents? <laughs> <laughs>